How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to my FIFA 21 defending tutorial on my channel. And guys, if you wanna buy cheap and safe FIFA coins or PSN and Xbox prepaid cards, check the links down below and use the code CRASSY for a huge discount. Guys, in the next couple of minutes we are gonna talk about the best defending techniques you can use in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, how to defend in certain in-game situations, which defending techniques to use and how to improve your defending by following some certain rules, so make sure to smash the like button below if you appreciate the daily tips and tricks videos on the channel and once we go over 2000 likes I will immediately release another special video, tips and tricks video on my channel. So guys, let's get started and first of all let's go to the controller settings menu because there are some very important options you need to activate to improve your defending. I'm talking about the first one guys, next player switch indicator make sure to use on, enables the next player switch indicator which shows to which player you will swap controls when pressing L1 while defending boys. The second option that I want you to activate is Pass Block Assistance. Enable Pass Block Assistance so that your AI controlled players and user controlled players will attempt to intercept a pass automatically when the ball is close by. Also guys, auto switching, make sure to put air balls and guys, jacking movement, make sure to use assisted. With that being said, let's get straight into some in-game examples so I can teach you guys how to defend in some certain in-game situations and what defending techniques you should use. We are going to kick things off with the jacking movement which is without a doubt boys the best way to defend in FIFA 21. When you press and hold the L2 LT button down, the selected player guys will perform a special movement called jacking movement. He will become more aggressive and it will be easier for you to intercept passes and take the ball guys. Basically guys, I'm using the jackie movement all the time in FIFA 21 even when I'm running to cover the free space in defense guys. I use the jackie movement plus the sprint button and that's actually called the running jackie movement. I always use that technique to close the gaps in defense and intercept the upcoming passes. Anyways guys, let's take the following in-game example with Militao. I'm gonna show you a few different in-game examples and afterwards you won't have problems using the jackie movement and the running jackie movement. So, as you can see in this example guys, I press and hold both L2 plus R2 guys to use the running jackie movement and then get closer to the opponent by using the left stick guys. Once the distance to the ball is minimal, I press the circle button once to do a standing tackle and take the ball afterwards. That's the best way to defend in FIFA 21. You need to use either the jackie movement or the running jackie movement guys to get close enough to the opponent before using either sliding or standing tackles. The difference between the jackie movement and the running jackie movement is really simple guys. By using the running jackie movement, your player will move quicker and he will approach the opponent's player on the ball faster. Now, let's take one more example guys. I try to stop the opponent's counter attack. Once again, I use the jackie movement. Actually, as you can see guys, I use the running jackie movement so I can approach the opponent faster. But this time guys, I don't use standing tackles and I do a sliding tackle instead to make sure that the opponent won't pass the ball to his striker. So, depending on the in-game situation guys, you need to use either sliding or standing tackles to take the ball alongside the jackie movement. And guys, I strongly advise you to defend using the jackie movement in 100% of the cases. So, basically every time you defend, you need to apply the jackie movement technique before taking the ball. Now, let's talk about the second teammate contain technique because as you can see, in some certain situations, while using the jackie movement guys, I also press and hold the R1 RB button down. So by pressing the R1 RB button down, 
you will apply pressure on the opponent's player on the ball using your selected player plus one more teammate guys thanks to the R1 RB button guys in that specific situation you can see how I close the gap with the Jackie moment plus the second teammate contain technique and basically my opponent has no chances to keep the ball and of course he loses possession of the ball now let's take one more example guys once again I defend by using the Jackie movement plus the second teammate contain technique in defense and as you can see the second teammate contain technique pays off AI takes the ball instead of me and we stop the opponent bro so as you can see the second teammate contain technique is very very important technique to use near your own penalty box alongside the jackie movement and the running jackie movement to take the ball and intercept passes with that being said guys it's time to talk about switching in fifa 21 when to use l1 and when to use the right stick to switch between your players and intercept passes let's take the following in-game example now i can see that my opponent is about to deliver a throw pass towards his strikers in front positions the only way for me guys to select my center back in order to intercept the upcoming pass is by flicking the right stick towards my defender guys and by the way guys that's a perfect example to teach you when to use l1 and when to use right stick to switch between your players so basically when you don't have a player indicator over the head of the player that you want to take control of you cannot select him by using the L1 LB button. You can only do it by using the right stick. You need to flick the right stick towards him. It's as simple as that. Now let's take one more example guys because I really want to show you the difference. In this example guys, I want to select the player with the indicator over his head. So it's pointless to use the right stick man to switch my players. I can press L1 LB once so I can select my defender then I use the running jackie movement to intercept the upcoming pass so in FIFA 21 in order to intercept passes first you need to select your player and guys I just explained to you when to use L1 and when to use right stick and then you need to use the jackie movement to intercept the pass now I want to take one more example guys in this one unfortunately i cannot intercept the pass by using the jackie movement i press the circle button once and as you can see boys i use the clearance technique in fifa 21 so in some certain situations when you're under pressure guys feel free to press circle once and clear the ball and play for safety now i want to mention the brand new feature in fifa 21 instant hard tackles you can use them to intercept passes or simply to take the ball from the opponent. However, guys, I strongly advise you to avoid using it inside a penalty box because you may concede penalties. To use instant hard tackles in FIFA 21, all you need to do is hold down the R1 RB button and press circle once. And as you can see, the player will perform a bit different motion compared to the regular standing tackles and afterwards he will take the ball from the opponent last but not least i want to talk about the cdms and the cms in your squad guys and how important they are for you while defending when you get a chance to defend with your cdms or cms don't miss it bros make sure to select them using right stick or l1 it all depends on the certain in-game situation drag them back and position them in front of your defender line let ai take control of your defenders and make sure to use your cdms to drag them back and close the gaps it will massively massively improve your defending in fifa 21 so guys this is gonna be the end of today's fifa 21 defending tutorial make sure to watch it once twice even more times until you get used to all the defending techniques that you're forced to use in FIFA 21 in order to get better at defending and concede less goals. As always, I truly appreciate your support towards my RTG videos, towards my tutorial content on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and 
Your boy Crossy will catch you later. Bye-bye.